Okay, so this radio is the first of the three that I picked up the other day. Uh, this is a Philips. It is a B5X88A, which sounds very familiar to the other model number, but they have a weird way of doing that. Anyway, uh, it's in good shape. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know much about this one. I haven't found the schematic for it or anything yet. I think it's a little newer, um, mostly because you can tell that it doesn't have a grill cloth. It has a grill plastic. It has a screen in behind it, uh, but everything is plastic. You can tell it's a little bit uh, more cheaply made. Um, and in some ways, it's actually better made, too, so we'll see that. This is that tuning eye where the other one had it down here vertically. This has it horizontally. They have them all over the place. They kind of just mix it up and do like that. So again, it has the tone controls. It's very typical layout for this type of radio. The uh, tuning knob here. Uh, this one has FM, and I can't see where it actually goes up to. But one thing that's interesting about here, you see how they have, like, this starts at 70 and 5, and it says channels. When FM first came out, they didn't actually use the uh, the frequency of the station. They actually gave it a channel number, and I think they were trying to make it easier. So if you could say, go to channel, channel 25 on your FM dial, and that would be your station that you were looking at. I'm trying to make it simpler. Um, has these buttons here which are labeled as extension speaker, tape recorder, which is probably like a line out. Um, these are, would be tones, looks sounds like modest, fidelity, and parola, which I'm not sure exactly what that means. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, so, but yeah, it is a Philips. Uh, very nice. Uh, I like the, um, it's kind of got this subtle um, sort of gold color on the, uh, uh, on the dial face, so it's really nice. Again, it's actually in really good shape. Just a little bit of a chip out from down there. Another one down there. The corners are usually what takes the brunt on most anything, actually. So this um, this cabinet is is uh, plywood. Um, it's actually got a very nice uh, very nice finish on it. Probably wouldn't take much to restore this back at all. It's actually almost like a like a piano finish on it. And again, you can see sort of the back. Um, it's got this in, get the antenna connections here again, uh, record player, tape deck input. I'm not sure how you switch between the two. I'm not sure um, what this is. This probably is like an external speaker, I would think. Um, the power cord in, again, the voltage selector up here. It's the same kind of deal. This has a little cover you slide off. You pull it out, you switch it around to whatever the heck you want. And through there, it doesn't seem to be a handle for it. Oh, actually, there is a handle, I think. It's just um, uh, tucked up into the side. You can just see it. So we'll, we'll pull the back off here in a sec and, uh, and show you that. So that's the back side of this one. So now what I've done is I've mounted the camera onto a little stand. So maybe I can take the back off while the video is still going. And I won't have to cut it into two videos. Should now I'll probably have to pull this out like that, and then that just comes off like that. Yeah, so there's the handle for that, it's supposed to stick out that hole. Okay, so here we go. I like to say they're all very similar, but they're also very different in a lot of in small ways and. Again, that's the handle for that little antenna. This one has two speakers, uh, like for the lows and then for the mid and highs. This one might do the mids and that and does just the highs, lows, mids, and then highs. There's the tuning eye up in there. Again, complement of tubes and capacitors, regular dust, but no no obvious signs of, of destruction going on in there, which is always good. Uh, power transformer. Audio transformer must be mounted under the uh, under the cabinet. Again, the same little uh, IF cans. It's probably typical of Philips of this year. Uh, one thing I noticed, which is interesting, is that there's an information tag here that has been deliberately scraped off. Maybe somebody had their name on it and 
uh, somebody else didn't like that so I don't know uh, filter canister as you can see here this is a good example of this this is the FM tuning uh, capacitor here and then that is the AM tuning capacitor up there so they have two different se sections and up in here which I've looked at just a little bit and it's not working at the moment there's actually a little um, a gearing system and when you switch FM in and out it moves a little gear side to side to either engage the gearing to operate that tuner or to operate this tuner so it's um it's pretty cool this is a again a very nice little uh, nice looking radio um, I don't know much else I can tell you about it from here but she seems to be in really good condition. I'm very hopeful that uh, all the tubes are good. And uh, and we can take it from there and I'll have to find out the uh, find out the information on it. So, that is radio number 1 of the 3, number 2 of the 4 overall, and that is the Philips uh, BX B5X88A.